I know what you're thinking. I don't have time to get a hard workout in and get great results. I got the perfect workout for you. I call it 12 5 12. It's just 12 seconds of work, five seconds rest, 12 sets. It takes three minutes and 19 seconds to do the whole workout. Now, you only get out what you put into it. It's a high intensity workout, but it's lightweight. So, your beginners, advanced people, you're not gonna be able to do heavy weight with this. So what this does, it stimulates growth hormone output, testosterone output, because of the high volume and the high intensity of this workout. So this is gonna be a lower body day. I have an upper body day for you too. We have as many muscles as we can in each category. So if you're new to this, don't use any weight for these first workout to see how intense it is. So our first one we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, squat pulses with alternate reverse lunge. Again, just 12 seconds. You can do anything for 12 seconds. Five seconds rest, 12 sets. So you newbies, so wide here like this, flat back, so side view, pretend there's a wall in your face. You're doing pulses down low like this. Don't bounce off your hams, all right? As you tire out, you're gonna pulse higher and higher, but don't lock your knees. Don't come up like this and lock them out because muscles aren't working when your knees are locked out. So down here is harder, up here is a little bit easier. If you're really advanced, go ahead, hold some weight. Torture yourself a little bit, all right? Get in position, we're doing 12 sets of this. All right, but make sure you do some quad stretches first. You know, pause the video, make sure you get your stretches in. I don't wanna waste time stretching. You know how to do that kind of stuff. All right, pause squats. Get set, it's a three second countdown. So next beep, we're going. All right, three, two, one, pulses. Down low, knees out a little bit. Remember, it's a fast workout. You're trying to get uh, at eight to 10 reps or more in this 12 seconds. Head up, keep going, all right, rest. You got one beep, here's your stretch, five seconds, get ready, go. That's it, just five seconds rest. No wait if you're a beginner. Nice and low, up. Next one, we're alternating with lunges. All right, next beep, alternate lunge, we're doing this. All right, go, alternate lunge. So it's fast, staying low. Rest, remember, get your eight to 12 reps in that 10 to 12 second count. Squats. Nice and quick, get all those reps in. It won't work if you're going slow. Shake them out, reverse lunge, fast. Good, got 11 in. Back to squats. Count your reps. Go. One. 15. Shake them out. Get it has to burn for it to work. Lunge. The burn gets your growth hormone spiked. And testosterone, which loves to shrink fat cells and build muscle. Gotta move fast. Shake them out. Pulse squats. Go. Down deep. Don't cheat yourself, come up high. If you're new, yeah, come up here. If you're new, down here, if you're more advanced. Shake them out. Reverse lunge next. Go. Count your reps. Gotta get more than eight reps, 12 seconds. Let's go. Rest, a couple butt kickers for rest. All right, squats, fast. Count your reps, come on. Get them all in there. Ooh, is that a bird? Yeah. Told you not gonna want any weights for this. Reverse lines. Go. So number 11, one more after this. Nice. 
Last set of squats, all you got. Fast as you can, double time. Come on, double time. Push them faster. Come on, block out that burn. Block it out. Oh, oh nice job. Shake out the burn. Grab a sip, stay hydrated. Give me a little stretch. We're on the hamstrings next. The lunges and the squats, get a little bit of hams. We're going straight leg deadlift hams. So heels in, toes out like this. Toes out, heels touch, works your butt more. Working butt and hams together. So look up, your back is arched. You don't want this. This is not good for your lower back. Arch, like this. Legs are almost locked out. These aren't squats. These are for hams, butt, low back. Pulses like this, like that. As your back might tire out, you're gonna come up higher, like that, okay? Uh, we got a three second countdown. We're getting started. Next beep, we're going. Heels in, toes out, go. Pulses, legs straight. Get that stretch, straight that fat stretch phase. Keep coming. So staying in a stretch phase works more muscle too. Makes muscle hypertrophy faster. Arch your back, legs straight, no squats. Shake them out. Here we go. Again, lower back is too tired, come up a little bit higher. Could also hang and do a stretch like this in between sets, as long as your hands are on your knees. Go. Got it moving. Come on, get those eight to 12 reps or more in that 12 second. Shake them out, just do what you can for your back, it's too tired. That's our weakest link. Go. We sit too much these days and our back is weak. And keep the heels touching, toes out to work your butt with the lower back. Go. Stay in that stretch phase for big, bigger muscles faster. Halfway done. Go. Keep that back arched, legs straight. Don't let it drown. Don't let it round. Don't drown either. Come on. So if your back is too tired, you can put your hands on your knees to help out like this. A little bit of a help on your knees. So it'll take some tension off your back, but you'll still get the ham stretch. If your back's too tired, just stop. Don't even finish this one. A sore back is killer. Bend there, you don't want to hurt your back. Come up a little bit higher then. Shake them out, three more sets. Three more. Your back will get stronger over time. Go. Knees soft, not locked out, no squats. Two more sets, you got this. All right, ready, one second, go. Come on, get your reps. Get your eight to 12 reps in here. Get hands on the knees if it's getting a little too sore or just stop all together. Last one, go. Keep looking up, legs straight, back arched. Nice work, shake them out. Now let's stretch your back out. Hands on your knees so your muscles can relax. Look down between your knees. Push on your knees gently and rotate side to side. Stretch that lower back out and the hamstrings. But put all the weight on your knees. If your hands are in the air, your back recognizes that as weight and it won't relax. All right, 
given the legs a break, we're gonna go to abs now. So how we're gonna do abs? Upper abs, lower abs. So first set, so for neck strength, I like to put my fingertips on my head. If you see my other videos for strengthening your neck and taking away or reducing that gobble wobble loose turkey neck look, hands right here. If not, across the chest so your head's still working against gravity. So it's quick crunch. Don't come all the way down. Don't never hold your head because it's looking down all day anyway. Your neck gets weaker and you're jamming your chin into your chest. Not good. So no holding the back of your head ever. So it's short range like this. Shoulder blades barely touch. You're staying up top, keeping the abs contracted. Next one's targeting the lower abs. So just your belt line touch. Just roll up. Don't let your butt touch. So don't let your butt come down like this. Just your belt line where your belt touches. Like that. All right. Get in a position. We're going upper abs first. Get set. Next beep, we're going. There you go. Short range, don't your shoulder blades touch. You get a good cramping ab feeling here. So we'll come all the way back. Rest, fingertips in the ground, low abs. Go. Rest, back to upper abs. Go, short range. Smash that little back in the ground. Rest. You can also do hip ups. We're pushing like this. You can put your head on the ground if you want. But head up works your whole ab sheet. Yeah, and your back gets sweaty. Sounds like you got back farts. It's not me, it's the ground. I swear to God. Uppers. Come on, get those abs cramping. Come on, faster. Eight to 12 reps or more. All right, low abs, fingertips. Go. Just your belt line touches. Blow out coming up. Push through that burn. The body can handle it. The mind's weak. It can't handle the pain. Push through it. Just no sharp pain. Stop if you have sharp pain. Back to uppers. Go. Take your neck sword across your chest like this. But don't let your shoulder blades touch. Stay up top end. Don't come down and arch your back. Up. Stay up. Rest. Lower abs. Go. Well, get all those reps in. Faster. Get those knees, get your butt up off the ground. Don't let her just plop down. Fight your butt on the way down. Come on. Push through the pain. You look at that, what you put into it. Number nine coming up. Uppers. Keep those shoulder blades up. Nice. Lower abs, fingertips. Go. Rest. One more set each. Go. Don't pull your head. Lowers. Go. Come on, all you got. Last set. Come on. Fast as you can. Get your 12 reps in. Get them. Come on, fight that burn. Oh, nice work. Give me a cobra stretch here. Stretch them out. A little cobra stretch. Little twist side to side. Look up, twist your shoulders, bring that knee out to the side. Look at the ceiling up behind your feet. All right, we're going bridges now. So hitting butt, hams lower back. You can grab a weight for this, but again, if you're already fatigued, no weights. 
toes up in the air. Hold on to that weight, because if you let it go, it's gonna be up in your face, about 90 degrees behind your knees. This is too bent. This is gonna work your quads more than your butt. Gotta be down a little bit to work your butt. So it's gonna be like this. Your butt doesn't touch between reps. Come about an inch, it grazes the ground like that. Elbows are off the ground, and then you rest when it beeps, all right? So, scooch it down so we hit this button here. Grab your weight, if you're gonna use a weight. Maybe I'll move so you can see the timer. You can hear it at least, at least. Ready, and next beep we're going. Go. Squeeze your butt as you're doing the exercise, so don't go through the motions. Your butt barely touches the ground, your elbows are in the air. Rest. That feels too easy. Throw another weight on top. Elbows off the ground, it barely touches the ground. Please as you're driving it up. Rest. Come on, get your eight reps or more in this exercise. If you're not getting at least eight reps, you're not going fast enough. Faster, hitting those fast switch muscle fibers. Actually, it's hitting all three. Fast, fast, slow, combo, and slow. Rest. Go. Come on. Get that butt burning. Squeeze the whole time. Keep the weights below your hip bones. Below the hip bone, touching the thighs. If it's on your stomach, it's not working your butt enough. It's too easy. Yeah, feeling the burn set in. Well, burn them up. We don't want any ass tracks at the beach. We don't want that thing dragging in the sand behind you. Go. Don't let your butt touch the ground. It grazes the ground, pushing them up. All right, way to push yourself. Go. Push through that burn. The body can handle it. Your mind is weak. Strengthen your mind. Mental toughness workout. The more intense you work out, the faster you're done, the faster your results. It has to burn like crazy. Go on. It's only a 15 minute workout. All these exercises together, that's it. Go. But do this one twice a week and do my upper body one twice a week. I'll have advanced ones where we, I do one muscle group at a time, but three different exercises per muscle group. Keep an eye out for that one. You can do upper and lower body together. You know, two different videos, you can watch one after the other. I can't even see what number one. Go. I can't even tell you how many we have left. Come on, keep pushing. Block out the burn. You can do it. Suck it up, buttercup. Come on, go. This is all light weights. Great. Nice. Roll that off. Let's stretch them out. So hamstring stretch. Toes together, pull them back towards your knees. If you can touch your toes, great. If you can't, hands behind you. And slowly rock yourself forward and backward. This gets the hams. We'll hit the glutes and hips next. All right, not to use up too much time. Cross a leg. Use your arms to rock you forward and backwards, pitching the glutes and the hips out on this one. Yeah, you're feeling your lower back too. And you can pause the video and do more of these stretches if this really feels good. All right, we have one more exercise for today. It's calves and traps. So if you have a plate to stand on to get your toes a little higher in the air, great. So what we're gonna do, need some weights for this one. Start with fives if you're a beginner. 
balls of your feet are on the plate and you're coming up together, down together like this. So it's shrug, barely touch your heels to the ground. So we're doing this, 12, five, 12. Calves, traps, neck muscles for a nice firm neck. No loose skin, get your weights, get yourself in position, hit the start button whenever you're ready. I'm hitting mine now. The next beep is the start. Here we go. Takes a little balance at first. If the plate throws you off, just do it on the ground, which I'm gonna do next. All right. Now I can get them going faster without the plate. Go. Trying to keep your head up. Rest. It's a calf burner. All right. Go. Fifteen that time. Remember eight reps or more. We gotta lighten up or go faster. It's not burning. It's not working. You gotta work like a dog to look like a fox. Come on, push him. That's a good calf burn. Little lateral neck stretch. Go. Heels barely touch. Don't let them rest if you can help it. Rest. I think I stopped early. Anytime you stop early, a puppy dies. Go and get these traps burning, get those calves burning. Nice. Come on. Go. So for that big five second rest, we'll do a little neck stretch where you tilt your head, tilt your head side to side. Side to side. Put your neck and the traps out. Go. Don't just let those weights fall down under control when you lower the weights. Don't just let them drop. Under control, it's the calves coming down and the traps coming down. Oh, number nine coming up, almost there. You got this. Come on, fight that burn. Just means it's working. Come on, push it. Rest. Go. Come on, get your eight or more. If you can't lighten up, come on, push them. I don't want to push you that burn. Just no sharp pains. Come on, go. Go. Come on. Count them out. Way up on those toes. Heels barely touch the ground. Don't let those calves rest. Last one. All you got. Come on, last one for the day. This is your sixth set. I mean, fifth set, fifth exercise. Come on, push. Oh, nice work. You made it. Little calf stretch. Turn that back toe in. Stretch your calves out. You can hang them off the edge of a step. That's a great calf stretch. Awesome job, everybody. Thanks for working out with me. Please hit subscribe, like, send me a comment. What kind of workout you're looking for? How you like my workout so far? Need anything custom for you? Share with some friends. Come back and watch some more. I'll have these two workouts linked together, the upper and lower. Again, appreciate you watching. Thanks. Have a good one.